Hello again, Luigi Freebie here. I'm back with some more Undertale. In this case, it's time to hang out with the Pyrus here. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to uh, date or something. So you came back to have a date with me. And you must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. <laughs> Just having a walk. <laughs> My house! This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down, move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you decide not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. <laughs> it's just like a series of notes. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. Got 20 G. It's a saggy old couch now. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program! MTD. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> it's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. So it's literally book deception and possibly quantum entangled books. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you go in here, it's the kitchen. It's weird because at first this looks like a curtain. It's really just the fact that there's really nothing to see in the kitchen in this exact area. <laughs> That's the trash can. Feel free to visit at any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking some food. It was like a cliche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. Hope sir. Aha! Uh -huh. Interested in my food museum? Please peruse my culinary art show! Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. <laughs> the other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it! Take a look-see! What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Hey, it was a trombone, dude. It, it, the skeleton's gotta do it. Kinda like dancing to his xylophone. <laughs> a classic image. It always reminds me of what's important. Yes, it's a bone. The door's locked. Welcome to scenic of my house. Enjoy and take your time. That's my room. If you're finished looking around, you can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? Yes. <laughs> hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love you gotta love the skelly bros. Uh, but yeah, of various bones. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Obviously, that's sans. <laughs> the computer's internet browser is opened to a social media site. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That 
Next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> Apparently he is easily surprised. Isn't that flag neato? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <clears throat> well, they just have them. They don't have to descend from them. Anyhow. Ah, oh, yes. Action figures. A great reference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? <laughs> well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Santa. <laughs> exactly. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long line. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream, so instead I cruise while I snooze. <laughs> that and he has no, like, skin or hair, so yeah. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. In the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. <laughs> As he said, no skeletons there except him. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Yes. <laughs> okay. Dating start. It's like, why is this always a battle scenario? Dating start. Here we are. On our date. I've actually done... I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. <laughs> Very unusual point. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I feel so informed. <laughs> I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. <laughs> yeah. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. <laughs> he realizes he's just wearing this outfit and needs another one. Wait a second. For clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now! Not only that, earlier today, we were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You wanted to date me from the very beginning. <laughs> Wonk. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am. No! You're dating power! <laughs> this is funny. Yay! Yeah! Don't think you bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. Uh, <laughs> brings new definition to dating game, doesn't it? I can easily keep up with it. You see, I, too, can wear clothes. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me how to. Behold! Yay! What do you think of my secret style? Yay! No! A genuine compliment! <laughs> cool dude Skeleton is trying to be cool. <laughs> However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Again, controller. <laughs> my hat. My hat. My hat. Yay. Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Of course. <laughs> Spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so right. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an open case. It cooked by me, Master Chef Pyrus. 
Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Face reflects and scratches up. Face is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my coach. And by extinction, me! Maybe even more time. <laughs> now the, the the power meter is about to hit him in the face. Oh wait, already hit him in the face. Oh well. <laughs> Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been from us. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you I papyrus. I um. Uh, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom. I would be able to match your passion for me. But, alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. <laughs> I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I've only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I... Don't even have lips. <laughs> and hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for a second place. Yeah. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Okay, this whole thing was mainly to get his phone number, because he has the most hilarious commentary throughout the game. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't think there's any new quotes around here or anything, so... It's a painting of a cartoon bone. It's a box of bones. Computers, internet, browser is open to... Uh, yeah, that was that one. The shelf was filled with complex tomes about puzzle creation and children's books. Action figures of many sexy robots. It's a beat-up pirate flag. But yeah, they found the boniest bone stuff they could possibly have found. sink is so tall, you can't even wash your hands. <laughs> the furniture feels... Okay, so that's the other thing. You visited the trash can. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. Oh, that's that one counts as... So that counter has, like, no... Uh, message at all. <laughs> oh, wait, I need to go... This way to go that way. Whee! It's a long way over. <laughs> There's a good reason to take the expressway. Oh, if this is really earthbound like, then why is there no skip sandwich? <laughs> if you're an earthbound fan, you totally get that remark. <laughs> I need me a skip sandwich. It makes you skip here. We all live in the woods, so no one can tell us what to do. But now everyone ignores us. I don't want freedom if it means no one's got to pay attention to me. Sorry about that. It must be bigger on the inside. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Greater dogs area. The thing is that you can kind of go back and see what all the, what all the people are up to. I've, no, I've heard there's a local tradition based off of my own suffering. Yeah, about... Uh, things that are decorated, getting presents. Oh, they're gonna be hype when they get to the surface. <laughs> hype! 
Oh, it's a snowbird. Oh my goodness, it's a snowbird. Hmm. Nice song. Everyone's wearing hats. Should I branch into a different item? Ice jorts. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Thanks, Ice Cap. The thing is, this place is now super peaceful, so... The problem now is that there is no encounters, so inside can't find the lesser dog again. A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. So I go, I think that's the same as before. I do like that sign. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. But I was going to show off the thing, but I think I'll come back and show off the extra special thing you can do with lesser dog later. Yay! Us teens live self-sufficiently off the fat of the land. Oh, the box lunches my parents bring us every day. So this is what the cool teens are up to. Other than menacing poor Gift Trot. Thank goodness Gift Trot uh, can can say that's over now. Hey, stop thinking about my hat. You aren't thinking about my hat? Can you, please? The ice caps just really, really, really want you to think about their hats. Dun dun dun. Why would they just do? I had to have a squeak. Anybody else on the near the course? No. And uh Ah, here's another one of them. Yeah, Esteen's rule these woods with a smaller than adult fist. <laughs> Very accurate. Nobody else is here. They're they're just kind of hanging out with their dog houses. thing is, I checked back the footage and I know that this would be the area that I'd encounter Lesser Dog. Went back here for a while and they totally were not here. Snowman? He'll always wonder how the piece of him is doing. And whenever you have it at the end, he's super happy about it. I don't think there's any more past this point. Oh wait, there is this one, okay. I ran away from home, why? My father was so cold to me, but it's a joke. Laugh at it. It's like, uh, thanks for that snow drag. Are there literally like no others left, or is or, or are there a few? Because I I I'm trying to make sure that I've got everything. Okay, when you go that way, I know there's that, that nobody goes that far in the ruins. Although it is awesome to have a conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> It is the most conveniently shaped lamp that there is. Yeah, I think I went back this way and found out that there's like nobody home. Again, I wish I had a skip sandwich. <laughs> It'd be appropriate. <laughs> Maybe a bicycle? <laughs> I don't mean the one that you eat twice. Is anybody here to mourn the ruins? Nope. They they, they just think that there's nothing there, so they don't try. Hey, how's that for effort? Okay. Uh, I will later magically be uh, at the other side of Snowden and ready to go into Waterfall. So, this has been uh, Glitch Reaper, and I'll meet you in just a few more minutes. <laughs>